What is up, Mystic Nation? It is I, Mystic Fire, to bring you Black Clover Chapter 137. Now, uh, this is a continuation of uh, last video that I was just did. It just went up. I was planning on doing Chapter 136 and 137 on that, but I ran out of space in my uh, in my phone since I, that's what I used to uh, do the video. But anyways, uh, let's do Chapter 137 here. Uh, the title of Chapter 137 is um, Meleona versus Perfidious. Uh, liar. Now, if you don't know, if you don't know what perfidious means, it means uh, this uh, uh, deceitful and untrustworthy. You know, that's what it means. Hence, the name's liar. Um, so, this week's review. I mean, th this week's chapter. It basically in all our fight is Meleona against liar, blow for blow. Meleona is basically destroying every single magic that liar throws at her. You know, and Lyra just keeps throwing out more and more magic at her. And she's like, next, 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 and next. You know, destroying it. So, Lyra is literally the epitome of opinions when it comes to a fighter. Um, she's a close fighter range, which I thought myself that she was going to be a long, a, a, a long fighter, a, like a long fighter. Uh, simply because she uses fire, you know, and fire, 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 like, you know. There, there aren't really that many fighters that use fire to fight at, at a close range. And so that gives, you know, when Asta found that out, he was like, I can learn something from watching her fight. You know, so that told me that Asta's going to get a, a, small, uh, a small power boost when it comes to his fighting abilities. But anyways, you know, Asta just observed her fight with Lyre, uh, like, blow for blow. And the fight was, like, really fast-paced. Not fast-paced as in... The manga, the manga is fast, is fast paced as a whole, like the fight was even fast paced because the characters were fast. And so Asta could follow that. So that means that Asta has really good uh, instincts, you know, and really and really good reflexes when it comes to his fighting skills. But if he improves that even further, he's going to become ha he's gonna become an OP ass character. But yeah, like I was saying, it was blow for blow, everything. It was just a happy chapter. There wasn't really much, but we did, we did learn a bit more about who Lyra's character is. Uh, you know, because uh, we like we get a small flashback of him going through like all of his allies' death before they start before they were in the midnight before Ledge started the midnight sun, uh, and before that uh, Ledge complimented him on saying that you have the kindest magic of all because you have to look careful of the you have to actually like care or like you have to actually like. Uh, look carefully for, to the person who to use their magic because since he uses imitation magic. You know, so, uh, and he says, no, is that's not true. I've always been a coward, and that's, and that's reflected on my magic, you know, because he does, he's lazy, you know. No, he doesn't say, I've always been a coward, which is, oh, I'm just lazy. And so that's why the, he was giving me teaching magic, because he doesn't want to work on his, he doesn't want to work on his spells. He just want to copy magic from other people. Hence, he has healing magic, fire magic, water magic. I don't, I don't know if he has the earth and um, I don't know if he has the earth magic and when. I don't know if he has those, but he has only used healing magic, which is light magic, dark magic. He used uh, last week's chapter because he uses uh, he used Jamie's attack. This week he he used healing magic uh, as well as uh, Lich, as well as Lich uh, attack that he did against Jamie when they were fighting at, in volume six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, well, that's when Asta learned about Ki, you know, I, like I, I went to, for him to sense magic and when it's been used because he cannot use magic, so he, can, he cannot use magic, so he cannot sense magic. But anyways, um, you know, we got a small flashback of him, of, of, of how it was, everything with him. Then, uh, what's, what's then? Let me see if I remember correctly. Oh, so yeah, Maloney is just literally destroying everything blow, blow for blow, you know, and he... And so, no, Meleona is a, is a dangerous, is a dangerous character. That's what, and like everybody that was there said that. Essentially, essentially, Asta even said she's a dangerous fighter. Liar says she's a dangerous fighter. She's she's way, like she's on a whole other level than a captain because she left. I mean, in her background, she like she left the uh, the royal capital because she was you know she was getting bored. So she she left to live in the forest in the outside world, where she had to eat meat and all that. You know, she had to survive in the wild. And hence, he she being so powerful. Um, so she's a, she's a really no big character for being a female. You know, like when it comes to manga, when it comes to anime, just in general, 
the guys are the ones that always get like always get the OP as powers and everything. But not not this time. Not with Black Clover. Black Clover's doing something right. Anyways, um, right. As the fight continues, no lit. Uh, as the fight continues, Lyre gets um, not pressure. He gets uh, he gets underwhelmed. You know, he gets underwhelmed, and so he brings out Asta's anti magic sword. Uh, you know, all of them were, were stunned by this. You know, they were confused as to how can he do this. And then Sora, you know, he thought he thought of how um, his magic works. That way, his magic works is basically he has to copy the uh, the uh, the person that he wants to copy is Grimoire, and so he can get every spell that they have. But I'm surprised they only brought one sword out instead of bringing both swords. But one thing that we did notice is that he cannot copy the properties of Asta's sword. Because if he did copy as the sword, uh, he would have cast Melona's magic when she literally punched through the sword, which she did not. She did not hesitate to punch through the sword. She did not care if her hand was gonna be crushed. She just punched through it like there was no tomorrow. And so that's how the chapter basically ended. Now the chapter ended with another blow from Melona. You know, it, it was sort of like a knockout punch, but I don't think that's gonna be that's gonna be the end. Of this fight, simply because you know he's a midnight sun, he's a midnight sun, um, he's a midnight sun leader. You know, he's one of the leaders. He basically, he's one of the top two fighters. So I don't think it's gonna end just like that, in literally one chapter. Especially when it comes to the like, especially when it comes to one of the main villains, you know. But anyways, that's literally it. It was, you know, it, it was all about. It was centered all about Lich's fight. Um, not Lich's liar fight with Meleona, Aston Sora. That was all. That was all. That's how it was. I liked it. It was just, it was just an action-packed fight. You know, there was there were small talks here and there, but that it was just fight and fight and fight. It was an awesome chapter. I loved it. I love this chapter, man. I am high for next week's chapter as well. Can I wait to see to see what's happening? What happening next chapter? Can I wait to see Esther's small power when it comes to his fighting abilities? I can't wait to see who Junior's gonna fight. I can't wait. The secrets are gonna get, that are gonna get uncovered. I cannot wait to see if Noah's gonna get the uh, Undine. Basically, Undine is uh, another elemental spirit, just like you know, has Sylph, and Fana has uh, the Pyro, which is a uh, Salamander. I cannot wait to see if anything like that happens in this because if you didn't know where they are, is they literally are on. They really are above a water dungeon, and the and you know, so maybe Noah can find an Undine there for her power up, which basically that would make her. Control your magic even more because it's a spirit. But anyways, this is it for the review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you if you did enjoy it though, leave a like. If you did not, leave a dislike. It's up to you. Leave a comment section down below. Um, subscribe to the channel if you like my content. And yeah, and also if you like to support me, you know, just go to the link down below uh, and un install it. It's too bad if you're if you're a YouTuber like myself or not. You know, just install it. It's gonna help you out. So thanks for watching my 